Alright, so the way I'm pretty much doing this is like I've just recorded myself doing this whole process and I'm adding audio later, so that's why it might seem off sync. But this is basically just what we're going to work with. Um, right now it's already unwrapped and textured and whatnot, but I'm going to get rid of all of that just to show you from start to finish exactly how I get it. And, you know, it's not going to look exactly the same, but you probably won't notice. So um, I'm going to put a checker map on here so you can see how the UVs are spread out. And the goal of the checker maps is like you kind of, it gives you an idea of the direction and the spacing of the UVs in general. Uh, if, if, if you can tell, the UVs are mirrored thanks to the symmetry modifier, which we're going to add later on. But um, right now, I think, yeah, I'm going to reset the UVs and start from scratch. So now you see they look all nasty and stuff. You can't use that in a game. Uh, you can, but it'll be very ugly. So unless you want something ugly, you'll use that. So the first part, first thing I'm going to do is I want to separate this into parts that I want to UV unwrap later. So let's say I want to like UV unwrap the arm separate from the body. Um, this is a technique that I did just to make life easier on me. I found that it works really well and it's kind of speedy. But uh, I select edge loops along that I want to separate from the body and I'm doing it really quickly because I have 3D Studio Max 2010 and I'm using the graphite modeling tools with um, edge mode selected but uh, I just go around the body and select edges and um, this this will help me separate it later on because a lot of people hate the process of UV unwrapping and me personally I don't mind it and you'll see why because it's very quick once you get to learn stuff so with all those edge loops selected, I use the split split tool. What that does is that it separates the body into several separate elements. Now with each element selected, I'm just going to clear off it so it'll have this faceted look on it. And you'll know you've done it right if you like take off the wireframe and you can tell that it's not smooth at all. So selecting like elements one by one, I'm going to start with the body and the right side. And just keep working my way up from 1 to 5. Once I have the fifth smoothing group set on it, I'm just going to select the right side elements and put 6 on it. Because like I said, I'm going a, I'm to a symmet symmetry these UVs later on. So I only really need to unwrap half the body. And the only reason I kept the body as one chunk is because for me personally, it's, it comes out with a cleaner result when i using the unwrap method that I use. So um, I go to border edge selection mode, press control A, and then go to vertex, and then while, well, I press con holding control, I press vertex mode, and then I press the weld button. What this will do is make it all one object again, but it will keep those smoothing groups intact. So now you have your smoothing groups and your single object. So we're going to add a unwrap UVW modifier to make life to start unwrapping so normally what people would do is like marquee select but you don't have to do that since we have a select smoothing group tool so you know start off with one and um once you have that smoothing groups selected just do a quick planner map so you can separate it from the rest of the mesh and keep doing that for each and every smoothing group until you get to the fifth one provided that you're you know using this file or a humanoid file. I have to ask Richard. If he's cool with it, then I will give you a dumbed down version of this, but you know, it's his property, not mine. So, um, right now what I'm doing is like trying to separate them into chunks so I could differentiate later on. And I'm gonna keep the viewport in view, I think. I forget what I did here. But, um, basically, if you know anything about unwrapping UVs, you know that only things inside of this square in the center will be taken into account. Um, right now I have select element mode selected, which is that checkbox I checked just a few seconds ago. And it helps me drag out those uh, smoothing groups that I made earlier. So all I have to do now is just clean them up. So they're already separated and cleaning them up will be an easy process. Um, Pretty much the only two tools that I use for that are pelt, the pelt unwrapping method and relaxing. Um, 
I'm going to finish this video up, but uh, the next one will show you how I get started and with the unwrap. All right.